everyone, this is Susie J. Cobwebs. How you doing today? Today is going to be a fictional writing sprint. Do you know what they are? Well, a fictional writing sprint is for five minutes and we pick three things out of this box and we write about it for five minutes. Sounds easy, right? So I hope you have your piece of paper and your pen ready because we're going to dive right into getting a paragraph or two, who knows? And this could potentially help you writing your next novel. So before I get into all the extra stuff of this writing prompt, I would like to give you some housekeeping items. Now, there is a fictional writing prompt playlist on this channel. And I do these fictional writing prompts the second Wednesday of every month, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you wanna keep up with all of these wonderful prompts that we do, check out those playlists. There is also another playlist on here. It's for writing sprint to a better health, which is journal writing. And this will actually help get the positive vibes into your life. But this one is a fictional writing prompt. So this is all you have to do is get a piece of paper. I have my notebook. I'm a pencil. I'm ready. Are you ready? <gasps> Yay! Okay. So I'm going to pick three items out of this and we're going to write about it for five minutes. Now with these fictional writing prompts, there's a couple little rules I'd like to go over. With this, I don't care about the punctuation, the spelling, the grammar. This is just to get your thoughts down on paper, just to get three items to form a bond together. So at the end of this, I will recite whatever I wrote. So you can add what you wrote in the comments and I would love to read them. If you would like to participate in this in adding into this prompt box, all you have to do is put parentheses with the name, word, phrase, number, whatever you would like, put that in parentheses in your comment and I will stick it in the box here so we can have more writing prompts to do. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, you ready? We're gonna stir all of these up here. One, two, and three. So what I like to do is put the words that I have and put them at the top of the page. So when I'm doing my writing prompt, and this is only for five minutes, I can just continue to write. So the first word is happiness. H-A-P-P-I-N-E-S-S, -S. happiness. Next, sick child, sick child. And for the third one, Confidence, confidence, C-O-N-F-I-D-E-N-C-E. -E. So that's how I have mine up right here. Happiness, sick child, and confidence. We're gonna write about this 
for five minutes. Are you ready? Go.
Okay, put your pencils down, put your paper down, put your fingers down, whatever you're gonna use. What are, whatever you did use. How did you do? Great, great. So, just to kind of give you a heads up. I don't care about the punctuation, the grammar, the spelling. This is just to get your thoughts down on paper. So, I'm gonna go over this. I have confidence, happiness, sick child. Now, these are the writing sprints that I will be reciting. So, I hope you will put yours down in the comments. And if you want to add more to my prompt box, go ahead and stick that name number, phrase, in the comments below with the parentheses so I know to put them into my box. So, are you ready? Good. Here is my way of getting these three words together. Again, if you like these types of writing prompts, there is many different playlists on my channel that I hope you check out. So, having a sick child could be a Debbie Downer for your own confidence. Having all the stress laid on to you as parents will seem like it's a never ending battle. And a lot of words that you can hear that gets through this rough time. The thought process is this, this too shall pass a great avenue to fill of happiness then will surface once again. This will get you out of your slum. How did you do? Write them in the comments below. If you like these videos and you wanna see more of these videos, by all means, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that post notification button so you can stay on top of all the different things that I post. And to the next time, love you bunches.